Hampshire Police and Crime Commissioner Donna Jones has maybe earned some respect, maybe. Now, this is odd on a couple of levels because PCCs normally back the police and don't want to get involved in having to tell them off, which is what they're there for. And number two, because this is Hampshire Police, the force who deals with things like fixed penalty notices, specifically if you remember all of the COVID penalty notices. Oh yeah, and their bullcrap attempts to threaten me with their corrupt police force solicitor, Roger Trencher, emailing me over an image in a recent video trying to threaten me. If you haven't seen that video or my video response to that, I'll link to it up here or up there. But I have to give credit where it's due. Donna Jones has spoken out recently against police officers keeping their anonymity after facing disciplinary proceedings. And this is a subject that we touch upon often on this channel. But speaking at the police and crime panel in Winchester last week, Mrs. Jones said, there has been some national coverage around the public's dissatisfaction with the anonymity of police complaints and hearings happening behind closed doors and the lack of individuals being named once they've been punished. I went to the local qualified chairs panel to reinforce, to reinforce that the starting point is that we hold hearings in public. In cases where they haven't, I've also pushed for the publication of names at the end of the hearing unless it puts the victim at risk of harm. We raised this at the National Policing Board as well. Now, we've reported on this channel plenty of cases from across the country where Deviant Plod have been afforded anonymity and named PCX or Officer A, for example, whilst never making an effort to inform the public after the hearing in order for the general public to be safeguarded against a Deviant X Plod. A high-profile case saw media publish a news quest go to the High Court to name former Basingstoke Police Constable Terry Cook, who was sat for abusing his position to pursue relationships with vulnerable women that he met through his job, including domestic abuse victims. <laughs> and this was in fact the copper that I reported on and then got threatened by Hampshire Police's bent solicitor over. Chief Constable Olivia Pinkney, who chaired the meeting, ruled that nothing could be reported about his identity, leaving, him, leaving the press to simply name him as Sergeant X. Which, to be honest, doesn't surprise me, and won't surprise anyone, once you see how Pinkney acts towards the general public. However, although Donna Jones, Hampshire PCC, has made this statement, it doesn't appear that she has made similar claims about misconduct hearings for the police and crime commissioners too. In fact, complaints made against a police and crime commissioner are handled by the Crime Panel Complaints Subcommittee. And that's held in secret. Police and Crime Commissioner Jones knows this too well as her very own, now ex-deputy police and crime commissioner Luke Stubbs was himself investigated in secret following comments that he made about gender equality at a Fire and Rescue Service Authority meeting. These and all other subcommittee meetings are all held in private, with the press and members of the public being excluded from attending. Now, if she calls for all official misconduct hearings to be held publicly, then I will back that 100% and I'll respect her for it. I mean, at the end of the day, we are paying people to do these jobs, which makes them accountable to us, or at least it should. But with the introduction of positions in the sectors, with one person to watch over another, to watch over another, to watch over another, the whole system is getting further and further from being a public service provider in any way, and seems more like it's a club to give well-paid jobs to your mates, by making up job titles and then sharing the same bed. Figuratively speaking, of course. I'm all for transparency, but it needs to be across the board and it needs to be real transparency, not simply snippets here and there to keep the public off your back. Either you are publicly accountable for your actions whilst we pay you or you're not. But I can assure you that not being publicly accountable will not end well for you in the long run. 
Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as no many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.